You don't need to break the bank to see the incredible things the Pikes Peak region of Colorado has to offer. Here are 15 local favorite activities for $15 or less. If you want to learn more about anything featured in this video, we'll have links in the description as well as in the pinned comment down below. Quick note, all the ticket prices in this video are for adult tickets and the prices are as of fall 2023, but we update the prices on our website for each and every one of these places. The shining jewel of the region, Pikes Peak, has an elevation of 14,115 feet. It features a state-of-the-art summit house and donuts made using a special extreme elevation recipe, so they're donuts you can't get anywhere else in the world. You can drive up to the top as well as hike the mountain itself. Stop along the way for fishing at Crystal Reservoir as well as gift shops and other reservoirs and trails along the drive. At $15 a ticket, this is our most expensive option on the list, but the price is well worth the experience. It's the namesake of the region after all. This beautiful Victorian style castle in Manitou Springs boasts over 14,000 square feet of architectural history. You'll find all kinds of interesting things in this castle, like an eight and 16 sided room, a grand staircase, a solarium, and the Queen's Parlor Tea Room, where you can enjoy fine tea and scrumptious scones and snacks. Built in the 1800s, Miramont Castle is a testament to a bygone era and a unique opportunity to visit a well-preserved castle. It costs $14 for a ticket, and you can also visit Manitou Springs itself and our next attraction while you're at it. Originally relocated from the McElmo Canyon in southern Colorado over a hundred years ago, these 700 year old cliff dwellings are not only beautiful to look at, but you can actually touch and even go inside them. There are 40 unique rooms and a ton to explore. Stop by the museum to learn about the history of the ancestral Pueblans and see artifacts from the indigenous people of southwest Colorado. The structures date back to far before Colorado was a state, so for $12 a ticket it's accurate to say you'll be stepping inside a piece of history. Affectionately nicknamed the Bug Museum, you'll explore the incredible world of bugs and insects with over 7,000 beautiful, strange, and even exotic specimens on display. The May Museum boasts the largest private insect collection on the planet, and is family owned and operated and has been since its inception. Many of these bugs are now extinct or even the only of their kind to be displayed, and at $12 a ticket, you won't be disappointed in the beautiful colors, shapes, and sizes on display at the May Natural History Museum. Have you ever wanted to learn about the rocks you eat? Oh yes, we all eat rocks, and that's only one of the many fascinating things you'll discover during your visit to the Western Museum of Mining and Industry. Dedicated to preserving the spirit of Western pioneers and mining, you'll watch massive machines at work, get to try gold panning, and see what it was like to live in the 1890s. The machines and equipment here are well preserved and a great glimpse into the past. Tickets are $12 and you can learn a lot more about the museum in one of our most recent videos, which will be again in the pinned comment and the description. Outer space, the final frontier, feels so much closer when you visit the Space Foundation Discovery Center. For only $10 a ticket, you'll be immersed in captivating space artifacts, spacesuits, built to scale models of rockets, and even hands-on exhibits like a role play mission to Europa. While this is a great place for space loving adults, kids will be especially excited with tons of opportunity to learn about and engage in activities that will inspire a new generation of explorers and space pioneers. If the Wild West is more your style, the Pro Rodeo Hall of Fame is a great stop that captures the Wild West heritage of Colorado. Filled with artifacts from past rodeos, you'll learn about the cowboys of the past who built rodeo into what it is today. During the summer, you can even visit rodeo horses on the property and get a glimpse into what it's like to be a part of the Wild West rodeo world. At $10 a ticket, kids and adults alike will have a blast diving into this unique piece of Wild West history. While you won't encounter any specters or poltergeists, this museum is filled with echoes of the past. Ghost Town Museum preserves not only the spirit of the Wild West, but buildings, coaches, and many artifacts from early pioneer towns. Yes, these artifacts are real and authentic from those places. Discover what it was like to live on the front range as an early pioneer, play antique arcade games, and even do some gold panning in the summer. Walk through buildings occupied over 100 years ago and get a glimpse into early pioneer life. Tickets cost $8.50. Who's to say you can't experience Christmas joy year round? At the North Pole Santa's Workshop, you'll find a Christmas themed amusement park right at the base of Pikes Peak. Built in 1956, this is an experience for adults and children alike and feels like a time capsule with vintage rides and Christmas cheer. Featuring a Ferris wheel, tilt-a-whirl, and even the opportunity to meet Santa and get a photo. You don't want to miss the North Pole. The park is free to enter, but you can buy a single ride ticket or an all rides pass as well. 
Founded in 1859, Old Colorado City was the first capital of the Territory of Colorado. While it's grown a lot from its Wild West roots and is now a National Historic District, you'll be immersed in the charm of its historical buildings and galleries in addition to its 100 businesses including boutique shops, artisan restaurants, and craft breweries. There's no cost to explore the area and you'll learn about the region's storied past alongside cultural events like the First Friday Art Walk on the first Friday of every month. Old Colorado City is free to enter and explore, but of course there's tons to do while you're there. This mountain town is the stuff of legends, filled to the brim with a rich history of incredible stories you can hear about at the many museums and historic locations scattered throughout the town. You might even run into the Free Range Donkeys, a special group said to have descended from Gold Rush mining donkeys, who lived underground until they were released and have roamed around historic Cripple Creek ever since. Oh, and did we mention this town is claimed to be one of the most haunted in the United States? It might be a good spot to test your ghost hunting skills. Historic Cripple Creek is free to walk around and explore, but again, there's a ton to do once you're there. Historic Manitou Springs is a special gem tucked at the base of Pikes Peak and is often considered the perfect base camp for your adventures in the Pikes Peak region. Featuring seven mineral springs scattered throughout the town, a historic penny arcade, and streets lined with shops of all kinds and with tons of quirky character. A year-round Christmas shop? Check. A Victorian boutique? Check. Access to trails, the Manitou Incline, and within a short distance from both downtown Colorado Springs and even Pikes Peak itself? Check. You don't want to miss this slice of mountain town that's unlike any other. Speaking of the Manitou Incline, this legendary destination brings hikers from all over to attempt the intense nearly one mile stretch of 2,744 stairs. The base elevation is already high enough to be difficult at 6,520 feet, but climbers will gain a total of 2,020 feet of elevation, leading to a final elevation of 8,550 feet. For some context, that's nearly 500 feet more elevation gain than you'd get climbing the entire empire. Empire State Building. This hike is not for the faint of heart, but if you're up for the challenge, you'll get an amazing workout, see some incredible views, and experience a mountain hike you'll never forget. Garden of the Gods is one of the most spectacular of Colorado's natural wonders and is a must-see on any Colorado traveler's list. Massive rock formations tower over the landscape and are truly awe-inspiring to see. Surrounding them are miles of multi-use trails where you can hike, bike, and even ride horses through the gorgeous landscape of red rock formations. Garden of the Gods is one of the top rated parks in the country for a reason, and within moments of seeing the incredible formations on the horizon, you'll know why this park is such a regional treasure. On top of that, it's completely free. Also, our final place on this list is an integral part of the park. Garden of the Gods Trading Post is the perfect stop within the park. The oldest and largest gift shop in Colorado, the Trading Post contains over 90,000 items, including art, souvenirs, clothing, and so much more, spanning 25,000 square feet. Enjoy a homemade fudge with an espresso, Native American, and local art, and make sure to pick up a free map of the park while you're there. Stop in to relax for a while, pick up a craft beer and chill out on their beautiful patio. Whether it's your first stop in the park or your last, you'll see why Garden of the Gods Trading Post has been flourishing in the region for over 90 years. And that's our 15. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to like and subscribe as it helps us out a lot. And let us know in the comments down below if there's anything else you'd like to see in our upcoming videos. We have so many beautiful things here and we love sharing them with you all. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.